so it's me your little boy okay, something i have this video to give us you know many of us have this mindset of being too gentle you know being too nice you know giving pri people privilege to come into into your life to do whatsoever they do like people will turn your life like a a, a disco place or a place where they go for you know concerto discoteca etc well, <laughs> because uh, the truth is this whoever that have messed up with you Whoever that have already treated you like you are nobody to them, you don't have value, they don't regard you, they don't, they don't respect you, my brother. You don't need to give them second chance before you know that they don't love you for whom you are. Because someone who truly loves you will always feel your pain. You know what I'm saying? Someone who truly loves you will always feel your what? We always feel what you feel. So if people keep talking bad of you if people keep treating you like you are not you are not welcome in their life my brother treat them that they are not worthy to be in your life just yes, believe me it may sound rude but that's just the fact if people make you feel like you 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 you, you, you don't uh, you, you you don't you you are not you are not valued just make them feel like they don't exist you know that's why a lot of people always hate me, talk bad of me, they're, because they be, they know that uh, I'm not that type of person that they can they can get, they can talk to or do anything. Because today I can laugh with you, tomorrow you can just do a little thing. I will not even talk to you throughout the whole day because me talking to you it do what it can annoy me. So in order for me to avoid you, I will just keep silent. Even if you are walking with me, you are talking. That's why sometimes some of my friends where I do used to work, some of them will just be like, ah, Samson, we talked yesterday. What happened again? Why? Because familiarity is, is a disease. It's the worst disease. When you are too familiar with people and you accept all the, everything they do, you accept them, you don't give them boundaries. They will do what they will end up molesting you, talking to you the way they feel like, acting the way they feel like, and still leave and come back and start. Because the truth is this, if you give one person a bullet to, to, to shoot you, and they shoot you, they messed up with you, and you did not give them boundaries, you did not put boundaries for them, they will still, you allow them to come into your life. You are now giving them a bunch of what? A bunch of bullets to do or to finish the work. So my brothers, my sisters, the truth is this. Don't allow whoever that have messed up with you to come into your life for the second times. No matter how big that relationship may be. I'm not saying you should hate them. I'm not saying you should not hang around with them. But give them boundaries. Yes. I don't care the type of relationship it may be. That's why a lot of marriages are today are destroyed. Because maybe 85% of marriages are not God will that it will break. No, it's never God will it will break. Just because many of us don't put boundaries. Think about it. I see a lot of couples when I was at home, even here in Italy. I've seen a lot of couples when they are fighting. You will see the man assaulting the father. The father of the girl, the in-law, the mothers, you will just be assaulting the whole family. And you will see the girl even assaulting the mother, calling the mother name, calling the father name, calling all his brother's name, you know, because of single word, simple word, quarry. So my brothers and sisters, the truth is this. Before you get to into relationship with anybody, other friendship, give them boundaries. My brother, my sister, you said you love me, but I don't want you to do this to my family. Yes. Maybe you can cost me with anger or maybe you can offend me, but I don't want you to assault my family. I don't accept that. Once you put this boundary, once you put this boundary, maybe your babe or your, your man will just call you and say, hey, what do you hate the most? What is that that you hate the most so that I may not make that mistake? Just tell him, don't be ashamed. The only thing that I hate the most, I don't want you to assault my family. I don't want you to assault my 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 brothers my sisters finished that is the greatest boundary some ladies some men need to put within why because the moment you give some people privilege to come into your life they will mess up and the reason why many of my friends truly hate me is because uh, i don't give them that chance 
that they, uh, they can have that privilege to mess up with me or talk to me the way they feel like or do the way they feel like. What I mean is this. I have a lot of my friends who do used to ask me something. We don't understand you. <laughs> I do used to laugh. I said, well, how can you understand someone whom you don't know? You can't understand something you don't know about. You know what I'm saying? So, my brothers, don't allow people to come into your life and mess up with you because they don't care. So, the, the truth is this. What they know is what they are capable of killing. And what they don't know is what they talk about. Why? Because they want to talk about it in order for them to discover how to kill it. So don't let people know everything about you. Put boundaries. Don't let people come into your life to mess up with the, what, the uniqueness of God in you. The, the taste God has given to you. Don't allow them to come into your life to mess it up. Because sometimes the gift God gives to you cannot be repeated no matter how. So that is why you must surely put boundaries. That is why you must surely put boundaries to some certain areas of your life. So that you will grow with what God has given to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't put boundaries. Don't allow people to come into your life. Because the truth is this. If they mess up with you, destroy what God has given to you. Molest it. They don't care. They will just leave you there to be thinking how to repair it. So my brothers, put boundaries. Whether in, in your friendship, in your business. That is why we have a lot of people today who, are, who do used to complain. Customer will come, uh, uh, so customer will come in, in, my, in, my, in my shop. They will just collect whatever they want, whatever they feel like, do anything they feel like. They, they tell me they will pay tomorrow, they will do this. And at the end you will get broke. Who will suffer it? You will suffer it. So before you start anything, bro, put boundaries. Learn how to create boundaries. You know what I'm saying? And that is why many people always give respect to my dad. Why? Because my dad is, is a type of person that he will not give you that, he will not allow you to have that privilege where you can mess up or do whatsoever you feel like doing. You know what I'm saying? Because before you even do, he will also do what? tell you what is happening.